Treasures abound in small town central Illinois. You just need to know where to find them. Joining me now is Jim Naylor with Barnyard Treasures in Deland. It's good to have you. Oh, you too. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm, I'm great that I'm here because I'm a real history person, so I love looking at all of this stuff. And you have so much here. Tell us a little bit about what's in your place here in Deland. Well, right now we're looking at our auction building here in Deland. Um, this is Barnyard Treasures Auction Service. And you know, you can find anything from antiques to collectibles, primitive pieces, furniture. We do tools and equipment also. Um, but right now, you know, our antique market is hot and that's what everybody knows us for. We get buyers from all over the country that come in here. As far away as Texas, Arkansas, we've had New York people in here, California people in here yeah. on glass sale. So we have, we, we say we double the town on a Friday night sometimes. <laughs> but you don't get these things by accident. I mean, you make a point to go out. You said you've done two picks this week already? We've, we've done two picks this week already. We was getting ready to do a third one and a family member, there was an emergency. So we're gonna go back next week and do that one. Um, but you know, we get a lot of calls on this and that's, that's how we get out there. We need phone calls to know what's going on. I wanna show off a little bit about some of the things that you have here. And these cars were one of the things that stood out to me. That's pretty cool. Yeah, these aren't these aren't repops, guys. These, this is a real deal right here. These are real deals. This one here is a newer piece, of course. These are the real deal cars. They're, they're not remanufactured. No screws in these. These are all riveted and put together the right way, you know. Yeah. Um, even an original game board right there. Yeah. Uh, Toys R Us came out with some, but that's an original piece. The cowbells are original. The ball gloves are original. You know, I mean, this is a little bit more of a combination sale we're doing this week compared to a normal antique sale that we'd have. But check out the post office doors. Those are cool too, you know. I mean, great little U.S. post office doors in there. Yeah. Uh, four stacks of those. Those are original right out of the post office, guys. So, you know, that kind of gives you an idea on our auction side. We've, have, we've got pedal cars, Roosevelt pottery in here. Some even the more traditional things like coins. Yeah, coins. I mean, we do coins. A lot of people don't know us for doing coins, but we do coins also. Knives is another big one that we do here. Yeah. So, so this is, you do auctions how often here? We are typically every Friday night at five. Yeah. Doors open at one, auction starts at five. Right now we're on a two week schedule, so it's every other week. And then we'll be back April 7th, which is a really good primitive and antique sale. Well, we're gonna keep looking at some of these materials as we walk down here, but you're really, as much as you do with auctions, you're really looking at something, doing something a lot bigger here in town. We are, we are wanting to really get to town on the map, you know, I mean, D-Land's been here for a number of years. I mean, heck, our house now is a hundred year old meat locker, which you kind of <laughs> got a preview of here a yeah. minute ago. But no, we're, we're, what we're doing is we're introducing something called Barnyard Market. Uh, Barnyard Market is a vendor's market where antique dealers can come in, craft dealers can come in, old uh, Harley parts guys, you know, things yeah. like that can come in and set up on a two day weekend, the first Saturday and Sunday of every month. They can come in, set up here at our building, and we also have a lot up on Casey's. We can get outside vendors, about 100, 150 vendors outside, and our indoor space right now is only 20, but we're working on another building here in town as soon as we get that purchased. So you're looking for vendors for the yeah, barnyard we are, market, right? We are looking for vendors. Uh, we've got quite a few for our first market here in April. Uh, we're still, of course, looking for vendors because, again, we want to be competitive with everybody else. And yeah. Uh, really put our name out there. Yeah, and so this is this is heated and air conditioned space in here, right? It is, it's fully conditioned year round. Uh, ceiling fans, public bathrooms, food service. Uh, we're still working on some food vendors for our market side of it, but for our auction side, that's what we have. Well, and just look around at all the different stuff that you bring, and then yes. you're gonna get all these other people that they bring stuff too. Exactly, I mean, it's the character of the building that we're promoting right now. I mean, the, the building's definitely cool, but if you see our location and see what we have to offer, the traffic flow and everything that's going on in this town, it's a great location. Yeah, well, and let's look at some more of these things. Like, uh, these radios are, are, are beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we got some good clocks here. We got a good real radio piece right here. Uh, nice little lucky clock. I mean, we do have some good stuff, you know. There's well, an Aladdin I like this lamp. Because it's, got, it's a horseshoe. It is, it's a horseshoe. It's a pro it probably does light up. You know, it's probably a light up piece. Yeah. Uh, you know, and then you get the Rusty Krusty, which we do a lot of Rusty Krusty with. The, <laughs> that's what I call it, Rusty Krusty with pedal cars old cast iron pieces, crocs, jugs, bowls, all that stuff. It's the old stuff. Those are a restorer's dream. They are. I mean, these are actually in pretty good shape. They're not rusted out real bad, yeah. but they're, they can be restored and you know. So um, when people come, so you're looking for vendors for the barnyard market, which is yes. coming up in April. Yeah. No, we just want everybody to come out and have a good time. Yeah. Realize what we have here, what we have to offer and come to D-Land and just really enjoy what we got going on there. You know, like I said, here's just one piece of our signage that we got going on. <laughs> Um, you know, we've got probably, you know, six to 10 of those flags that are going to be out. 
the building's going to be open. It's, you know, and this is a free event, guys. This is, there's no charge to get into this. You're yeah. going to find treasures here that you're not going to find in a lot of different places. And when you have everything in one place, that makes a huge difference. It is, it is. It makes a huge difference, you know. And like I said, the town's great. It's a great location. Access from Interstate 74 and 72. We're six miles from both of those. 20 minutes from Champaign, 20 minutes from Clinton, about 30 minutes from Decatur, and about 35 minutes from uh, Bloomington. So, yeah, yeah we're, we're right in the center, the heart of everything that goes on. Yeah. April 1st, April 2nd is our very first one. We hope to see you here. And if anything, definitely friend us on Facebook, like us on our Barnyard Market page, and we hope you see you here, guys. Yeah, and we'll make that real easy for you by linking you over at CILiving.tv.